Exonation. Nation, uh, William Barnes is our guest this hour. He is the gentleman in charge of the Falcon Project. Their website is www.bigfoot24-7.com. That's www.bigfoot24-7.com. Bill, you and I were talking off air, and how much is the film going to be worth for one minute? Well, from marketing aspect, half a million dollars. So if you're looking at doing a 40-minute film... You know, you're you're looking at making. You know, you could make if you're actually successful a considerable amount of money. That's very possible. And does that play into your plans now? And I'm sure it must work for the people that are going to invest. Do you give them a certain percentage of the the final take? Well, basically, I want to go back to the education part if I get the footage, mm-hmm. and also research equipment for other researchers out of my own funding if this all goes through so, and wait a second why you know if, if if you're actually going to establish the existence of bigfoot why would other people need to research it anymore because it's a very unique creature so what you're doing is you're opening up a can of worms proving something exists and making it an easy target for people not an easy target on the ground well, so what would stop other people from getting a, an air balloon or an aircraft like you're using and doing the same thing? I'm the North American dealer. Oh, big yeah. deal. So somebody else comes up with a patent that deviates and they get their own patent and they can make their own stuff. Well, they can do what they want. I'm not arguing to stop anybody, but I do want to educate people and I do want to fund researchers because that's the worst thing I've noticed in 12 years of research mm-hmm. is that Every researcher I know, except for Moneymaker, is underfunded. Well, wait a second. If you're looking at making $500,000 a minute, and you're looking at a 40-minute film, doesn't that make you a Moneymaker now? No. What makes you different? It makes me different because I want to put money back into it. But in order for you to put money into it, you're going to have to find the creature and prove it exists. Yes, once I prove it exists, at least I'll have funding to help other researchers. But you've already you've already made the discovery, so that makes no sense. Well, other people might want to look at it, too, in the wild, in its own ha- habitat, in a safe habitat. Not chase it down and stick needles in it and stuff, just to be able to see it. I mean, it's just a magnificent creature. It's just like the apes in Africa, 1924, I believe. Nobody knew they existed. Bill, we've got to say so long for now. We've just run out of time. Bill Barnes has been our guest this hour. I hope he does not find Bigfoot because I think it's going to open up a door that will lead to the extermination of Bigfoot. Government protection means nothing because it's called poaching. This ought to be interesting to watch, gang. Until tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. Thank you for joining us. My name is Rob McConnell. This is the Exxon. Thank you for listening, no matter where you are around the world. It's great here, sitting in the captain's chair of the Exxon Nation. So until tomorrow night, take care of each other, love each other, and always keep your eyes to the sky and your heart to the light. And watch out, Bigfoot. William Barnes is coming. I know.